Hi guys, uh, today um, I'm going to uh, play the song um, The Amor, a uh, song written by Owen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, this video is about um, uh, the playing with tab. Uh, I just wrote it down uh, this tab. So uh, uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to play it. Um, the later, uh, I'm going to do a bit of uh, song, uh, song analysis. Well, let's get started. you find by the dumpster but busy to your sisters it looks fine in the living room here the asas you rescue go to die So that was uh, how to play this tab. Um, I made a bunch of mistakes, uh, but please forgive me. I just want to talk about um, code pro version and code uh, code voicing uh, because this uh, be because this song uses very interesting uh, the pro version of voicing. So. Let's take a look at, at the A section A at first. So the section A is uh, here. F sharp, uh, G sharp, and uh, E sharp minor. And this is a kind of F minor. Uh, I'm describing E sharp because uh, this song is key of G sharp major. Mm, but you can just uh, consider it as F. Um, so the as 
code production wise, this is four, five, three, uh, which is pretty common. But the code voicing is very interesting. Uh, the first code is one, five, two, three, six, means. Yeah, this voicing. It's very complex and very emotional. I really love it. And the second voicing is. Uh, This is G sharp at one, five, one, three. By the way, this the number means uh, the degree uh, of the chord. So first means uh, root note, the which is in this case the G sharp. And the five means the uh, the fifth degree of uh, G sharp, and the third is the the third. So this is a basic triad chord. The so one, five, one. This is octave high and the third. Since it doesn't contain any extensions, it's straightforward. And then the next one is E sharp minor. Uh, this is the root 7, 3rd, 6. Since it contains uh, ex a few extensions and uh, it doesn't have like, fifths, it spills. the first code. Uh, so the section B sounds like right. Um, then the code progression is at first a C sharp. The next one is A sharp minor, which is six. doesn't contain a lot of extensions. See, this is only triad, this is only triad. Uh, this uh, contains sevens and fourths, but that's it. So, I think that's the reason why um, this press feels so folky. Um, yeah. Here, we are at the uh, section C. The, the point is that the, here is a uh, first seven, um, yeah, because of that, it feels like a uh, key change, uh, but actually it's not. Uh, the one more thing is interesting is that um, this code progression, uh, the 525, um, yeah, so um, even though it doesn't change the code, root note it feels like there's kind of some the resolution the code resolution the tension resolution um, this is because the first the highest tone is pips right here one seven one five one seven one five this is our highest tone so like it's uh, it, it implicates the uh, the melody of this code and the next one is uh, the drop to the third. So I think he, it's kind of like this is uh, this contributes to the tension tension resolution. And here we are at the section D. Code progression wise, it's it's pretty straightforward, uh, like as an emo song. The first code is four. Next phrase does the four again, and then first, and then here is six. This is a key, uh, one of the key point in this code of uh, code progression. And then, yeah, inserting six uh, makes it very emotional. Like code voicing is also like. second as an extension and also it doesn't contain fifths at all well so I think uh, that's it uh, 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.